Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. We are here asking the real question. We got five different mods here that add in infinity gauntlets. And we're gonna be seeing which one of these five infinity gauntlets are the best in Terraria. Now the mods we have here are Thorium, Elements Awoken, Ancients Awaken, Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet mod, and some other Infinity Gauntlet mod that I don't remember the name of. Yeah, there might be more Infinity Gauntlets and other mods, but these are the five that I know for sure. Well, I'd say four and then the fifth one i just found out of nowhere but let's let's start with our first one i'm, I'm very hyped about this we're only going to be testing the straight up just power of the gauntlet alone not the stones because if we check this top chest right here we can see all these stones from other mods they all look beautiful you know we got the uh thanos infinity gauntlet mod stones we got the elements awoken ones we got thorium ones and we got the ancients awaken one they all look cool they all have you know special abilities stats attacks and a bunch of other things that they do but we are here focusing on the gauntlets themselves not the stones so let's check out our first gauntlet here today in this first chest the greatest infinity gauntlet mod i've ever seen the greatest sprite i've ever seen for the infinity gauntlet boom right here and yes it's the infinity gauntlet from speev the infinity gauntlet made for the insane dog pacho that's the boy right there if i'm being honest i straight up just found this mod on the mod browser when i was looking up infinity gauntlet mods because i knew the uh thanos infinity gauntlet mod existed but when i typed in infinity gauntlet you know this came up because infinity gauntlet is in the mod name we're gonna be putting this to the test we're down here on the floor we got our uh, dummy here now the only thing this says is 30 melee damage that's it you know it's just a melee weapon i don't there's no right click ability i'm right clicking right now nothing's happening and uh, i'm assuming i'm gonna punch this and it's literally just a fist that punches let's let's see who would have thought that this is just a fist that punches? The fist ain't even connected to my body. The fist isn't connected to my body. I'm not seeing any special abilities either. Um, You know, let's put it up against the enemy, obviously, just to make sure that there's nothing special with it. What is he doing? Boom. Okay, it's got some knockback to it. No, it isn't a slap hand or anything, but it's not the worst. Oh, man, hold up. That, could, that has some serious knockback. That legit has some knockback. Okay, maybe it is like a slap hand. And maybe that slime, you know, he just got lucky. But yeah, now we're going to test the gauntlet out on the boss. That's kind of going to be how we're doing things. We're going to do test dummy, enemies, boss, and then NPCs, if applicable. Um, I, I mean, I guess we could try NPCs. I, I doubt it's going to do anything to them, but, you know, I, I had to try it. But yeah npcs aside let's go ahead let's test this out on a boss we're, we're just gonna do king slime king slime just for now because i don't expect this gun to do much but let's see so he isn't taking knockback most bosses usually don't take knockback but there's a couple here and there that do and i mean it isn't anything special it isn't anything special i'm assuming you know maybe if i rock like the solar flare armor we could possibly get the stats up i don't know let me see all right there you go solar flare armor on you know this, this is a melee set so let's see oh look at that we do 37 damage now that's what seven more than before but let's go ahead you know let's just kill the king slime get him out of the way i don't know if there's a recipe maybe i should uh look at the recipes too for each gauntlet uh we'll check it out in a second here this slime is evading my every move stay the hell still god damn but yeah let's check out the recipe if there is one all right here it is right here what is the recipe you need excalibur that that just made this infinity gauntlet 10 times worse i don't want it anymore it can stay down here all right so the next gauntlet we're gonna be checking out is from ancients awaken now some of these gauntlets are actually equipables rather than they are weapons so it's gonna be very interesting seeing you know how the equipable ones differ from the you know straight up weapon ones that you wield yeah let's go ahead and pick these up here we got the dwarven gauntlet which is the empty one um which is still an equipable but then you got the real one itself the infinity gauntlet now i guess since we're here let's check out the recipe boom dwarven gauntlet there's the recipe there uh, obviously you're gonna need ancients awaken installed and the infinity gauntlet itself of course you're gonna need all the stones which these this does have some of the cooler stones some of them look like they wouldn't fit but i mean i guess like in the mcu some of the things didn't look like they were gonna fit like the aether and the tesseract they definitely didn't look like they were gonna fit in the gauntlet but you know they made it work but yeah we got we got our beautiful things here we're just gonna equip the infinity gauntlet that's it let's go ahead let's put this on i don't know if it like actually goes on my character or what let's see so i have to take off these uh serif tracers here because apparently these are wings 
the count is wings and then let me turn it on what the heck since when the hell does the infinity gauntlet give you wings like this i've heard a red bull but i've never heard of infinity gauntlet giving you wings yeah boom we got our beautiful wings so it says pressing the g key allows you to snap your fingers wiping out half of the enemies on your screen the snap has a five minute cooldown all effects of the infinity stones so we should let, let's read the effects of the infinity stones before we use this here we got the reality stone grants your control over reality around you allowing long flight insane speed and uninhibited movement uh we got the soul stone allows you to detect the souls of creatures detect valuable resources and see traps the mind stone reduces mana consumption by 50 percent and plus 200 mana the soul stone also gives you six minions which i forgot to mention now we got the time stone respawn time cut by 80 percent pressing the time stone hotkey will allow you to speed up and resume time that's pretty cool using the time stone like an item stops slash resumes times that's that's very cool i like that next up we got the space stone it allows you to teleport with the hook function like with the rod of discord you are immune to the chaos state debuff and the power stone multiplies your attack power by 40 percent that's tough that's tough so let me take my grappling hook off here so if i hit f i, I just teleport oh yes oh yes we can hold up we gotta put that away oh yes i like that but yeah let's press g let's get like a bunch of enemies and stuff around me and then let's press g and see if we can wipe out half of the universe you know all right so i got some enemies and some npcs spawned in here make sure that you actually you know bind the key to snap because if you don't bind the key to snap it's not gonna work even though it says just press g you gotta bind the key boom we have snapped that's it that's all it did i'm I mean, it wiped out half of them, I think. I, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Was there that many slimes on the screen? Who knows? But look at that. We can see up here the infinity burnout. They didn't go for the head. Pause? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it seems okay. I, I think I'd rather have it as a weapon I could wield in my hand rather than an accessory. But, you know, it's understandable that they went with a different route. Next up, we got, honestly, my personal favorite. And that is the Thorium Infinity Gauntlet or the Gauntlet. And uh, this this received like a different different look. Like I don't remember looking remember it looking like this, you know, when I originally did the video on this. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's check out the recipe for this. Boom. The gauntlet, which requires the gauntlet, empty version, uh, which I don't even know where you get this from. This might be a boss drop or it's either a boss drop or an item purchase. And then we got all the stones here. Same thing with these stones. Don't know how you get these at all, but that's the recipe. So this one right here attempts to eradicate half of all living things. You know, you expect the infinity gauntlet to do that most of the time. So let's go ahead. We're going to spawn in even more town NPCs here. Okay. You know, as many town NPCs as we can see, because this gauntlet, you can use it more than every five minutes. So we're just going to see it right Right here against these npcs boom they don't all die and that might be because of alchemist npcs uh but as you can see there they got brought down to a little health only half of them apparently that looks like more than half honestly but now let's test it with some enemies and of course the king slime and uh let's see let's see so it took out all the slimes immediately oh <laughs> it took out the king slime's health bar like instantly i died i killed myself what the fuck i think if you snap too often you you can kill yourself let me let me see here yo you can't why am i a part of the group that can be eradicated i don't know if i mess with that see i don't think thanos and tony were thinking about that when they were snapping yeah there you go that's all that one does i know it's, it's very short and simplistic but honestly what do you expect from the infinity gauntlet next up we have a mod literally called a thanos infinity gauntlet mod boom let's check it out this one i'm kind of hyped about because somebody made a whole entire mod about the gauntlet so you know that it has to be good but yeah let's check out the recipe boom 30 titanium that's actually that's that's fairly early on and then the stones no idea where the stones drop uh maybe they just drop normally from fighting enemies who knows but yeah we got it here a glove containing enough power to destroy the universe it holds every infinity stone now this is also an equipable and it seems like this is a melee weapon i don't know yeah it just seems like this this is a melee weapon because look it has damage but yeah let's take the infinity gauntlet here and uh, let's equip it and am i am i wearing it i don't i don't see me wearing it maybe i gotta take this off no i don't i don't see me wearing it so i, I don't know how this works how, how does this work am i supposed to be is this supposed to be a control it doesn't say anything in the controls I, can i just use it like this i don't it really doesn't say anything so how am i supposed to know so i looked on the uh forum page and i read the mod browser description and i can't find any information about how to use it so uh this this might be even worse than speeve's gauntlet but we can check out the stones here got the power stone which i don't think has 
any does anything we got this though the space stone the space stone which allows us to uh teleport wherever we want uh we got the reality stone lets you control gravity for a short amount of time so we can you know, just flip gravity uh nothing nothing crazy there we got the soul stone some a magic lantern to reveal treasure okay we got the time stone which i don't think has any features yet and we got the mind stone weak-minded enemies become friendly for 60 seconds when you use it. look at that that's, that's actually pretty good that's very unique boom we're friends now right so if i if i turn off god mode yeah look at that they didn't hit me but yeah that's that's all there is to show off about that mod that yeah, there's literally no information and i'm not about to spam every key on my keyboard until it works but yeah on to the final gauntlet the one that i think is the most fleshed out and that is the elements awoken infinity gauntlet boom boom let's check out the recipe first here it is right here you got the empty gauntlet which i'm assuming is a boss drop or something and of course we got all the stones and it's as simple as that you know what i'll leave this here dude. i'm not gonna be using this obviously but yeah we got the infinity gauntlet from this mod and i believe it's the best one because there's just so many things you can do with it as we can see you know just by reading it it says the forces the elements combined has the effect of all the infinity stones right click to switch modes currently we are in the desert mode which arranges desert shards let's see it in action look at that oh my god now that's some power right there let's go ahead let's right click we are in the fire mode now okay beautiful right click again we are in sky mode which i don't know what the hell that does what, what the heck does sky mode do <laughs> This teleports this teleport to the to a discovered location on the map. So I could go like this. And then oh, I'm very confused how this works. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but okay. Next up we got the frost mode. Okay, this gives us a little like shield around us. Next up we got the water mode. Turns projectiles into bubbles. No, we'll test it with the imp, because imps usually shoot fire. There's some shoot some projectiles. Is he shooting himself with those projectiles? Okay, well, I don't know. Let me try the uh, dark caster. The, some of these enemies are just like combusting. Okay, I'm left clicking. I'm left clicking. There you go. That didn't really turn into a bubble, but it deflected them in a way. All right, the next form we got here is the void one, which kills half of all non-boss monsters with under 10,000 life. Uh, so, I don't know. Let's just summon in a king slime, because king slime usually summons in a lot of enemies. So, let's see this in action. Um... Okay, it's not really summoning as many enemies as I thought it would. So let me let me just help that out a little bit. There you go. I, sum, I summoned in like 30 slimes. Boom. And just like that, they're gone. There's no... Where's the... Where's the snap? I'm not here. I'm hearing a lack of snapping in these mobs. But it's all good. It's all good. Let's switch to desert. Let's get rid of the king slime real quick. Beautiful. I definitely feel the power with this one. But yeah, other than some of them being a little finicky and, you know, not really working the way they're supposed to work like the sky one and the the water one kind of don't work at least whoa 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 at least they're just not working for me i don't know this gauntlet is definitely the best though it is definitely the best overall it allows you to do so many things and you know i think this one personally is my favorite but i also really like the thorium one because the thorium one just looks cool it's classic looking does exactly what you want the infinity gauntlet to do wipe half the population but yeah you guys let me know which gauntlet is your favorite honestly my favorite looking gauntlet is either the ancients awakened one or the elements awakened one i like both those sprites but i do really enjoy the thorium one because the thorium one looks classic you know looks like the og comic stuff and a lot of people are going to talk about the stones here they're going to be like the stones are in the wrong order i think some of the stones for some of these gauntlets are how they are in the comic and not in the mcu but yeah Thank you everybody for watching. We tested which gauntlet is the best. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. I almost had 200,000. I'll do something cool for 200k, I swear. What's up, everyone? I'm just popping in here real quick. You know, sorry if my mic is quiet at all. You know, getting used to this new mic. I don't really have any like options to change like the quality of the mic or the audio levels of the mic because I don't have a mixer and the mic didn't come with anything. But yeah, I just wanted to say make sure to check the Terraria official Twitch this Friday because I'm gonna be popping on there as a guest host. I don't know what we're gonna talk about, but I'm gonna I'm talk the hell out of it. So I'll see y'all there.